When angered, the rectum of the dominant male baboon turns dark crimson, oftentimes swelling to the size of a large breadfruit. How are you feeling, Eddie? Any better? Oh yeah, much better with the banging, Nigel. Really helps a lot. Maybe you want to turn the stereo up a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I bet you do have a fantastic headache. I didn't even think of it. <laughs> oh my god, please don't take any aspirin, please. Why? It's so much fun to see you suffer. I've invited some friends round after dinner to come and watch. I'll have to call them all. Don't mind her, Eddie. She's just in a deliciously mischievous mood. <laughs> she gets like this when she's heureuse. That's uh, French for happy, Eddie. Heureuse. We've had some news today. <sighs> you might remember I told you a while ago that Nigel had been signed up to do that year in New York with his accountancy firm next year. Well, it's been moved up. He's been promoted. And he's going. Hey, it's wonderful. <laughs> and Fiona has applied for the position of manager in Hearthstrop's New York flagship store in the hope that she might be transferred too. Oh and she got God. it! <laughs> We're moving to New York, Eddie. Isn't that fantastic? <sighs> yeah, that's congratulations. It's great news. Although this is definitely, definitely one of those kind of good news, bad news kind of things, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. What's the bad news? Um, that someone, somewhere, some poor, unsuspecting soul is going to have to become your new flatmate. <laughs> <laughs> things certainly can turn fast, can't they, Eddie? Lou. There's nothing on in this country. There's like three channels. This has been on all week. I feel like I know these apes. Well, that's your gene memory. Hasn't been that long since you broke away. Listen, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt about last night. If, if you say that you were looking for your pen cap, then I'm willing to believe you. So who are those guys? They're um, moving men. I'm getting quotes. Thinking about leaving with Nigel next week. 
Is it okay if I leave some of my furniture here just until I get settled? Sure. Monday is fine if you want to show people around the flat. Sorry I knocked you out. You didn't knock me out. Thought that's what you called it when someone's eyes roll into the back of their head and they fall unconscious? Okay, if I was unconscious, which I wasn't, it'd be because I've been recently brutalized by a giant with a fist like a Christmas ham. Anybody else will still be in the hospital after a shot like that. What's New York like? What's it like? What? How will I do? It's one of the greatest cities in the world. It's fantastic. You know, the people are beautiful and you know, tough. They're colorful and kind, all at the same time. You'll do fine. Just don't know what's on the other side. Yeah, it's a big door to walk through. Nah, not really. You don't think? Nope. Is that the door you want to walk through? Yes. It'll be great. Just be a new scenery. You, know, you and Nigel will love it. There's nothing to be scared of. It'll be like somebody just came in and changed the background. Yelling. It took me a while, but I figured it out. I didn't mean it. Then why did you say it? I don't know. What are you talking about? It took me a lot to ask you that. I came to you as a friend for advice. Listen, Blondie, you asked me about New York. I told you you'd do fine. Now, why are you whispering? Because Nigel is in the kitchen, and I don't want him to hear me. I never thought I'd say this, but right now, I wish I was him. You said. Walk show, then I should do it. Then everything would be the same. Like, my relationship has shortcomings and changing the scenery isn't gonna fix them. Like, if you're having your doubts, it's got nothing to do with me. I am not going because I can't be alone. You're wrong. I'm going for the opportunity. I'm going for the life challenge. I am going whether you think I am a surface dweller or not. I am going in spite of you. How do you like that? I'm going. Everything all right, Petal? Nigel, I'm leaving with you on Friday. Pressure and all that, hey? All the excitement. Lou. Eddie Arlette. Very funny. Listen, I've knocked myself out and I have more movers coming to give me quotes this afternoon. Where are you? I'll be putting up outside your office in ten minutes. I'm late for a meeting. I need you to come down and give me your key. 
You know, I'd really love to, but technically I'm not your roommate anymore, so I can't give you the key without a proper deposit. Stack your phone up your arm! Uh, I can't do that with a phone. You're gonna have to think of something else. People from New York. Yeah, at the surface, Gladys. Now? No. Ten minutes ago. They're there. I'm late. Oh. Uh, do you want me to give you a ride? No, it's just over the road. Just, just give me the key. You see, you never know when you're going to need a friend, do you? I don't need anything from you. You need my keys. Accept your keys, and then I will need nothing ever again. Nada. No miss. Okay, Petal. No. Who are you? I'm uh, Roger. How do you like me so far? Is that supposed to be a joke? No, I'm Roger. Eddie's new roommate. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, there's no vacancy. It's a little blurry, but you can clearly see it's Keith Richards. He's spitting his beer all right at me. The trip's off. Nigel's staying, and so am I. By the way, I hate you. Thank you too. 